Hey guys, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. I am Cat, and today we are in a war with Sweden. Look at that. Look at those Swedes just running around, thinking they're getting things done. They're adorable. Uh, and also some other things are happening as well. We're attacking over here because... Bah, we're attacking over here. We're just getting land wherever we can. And in fact, because I don't really know where to attack, I'm kind of thinking I could probably start thinking about converting this game now. You know, to a Europe Univales game. Unicevalis? I don't know, I keep saying it wrong. No, you know what, I'm not letting you go. But at the same time, I really don't need to, but... I think here would be a good time to... A good interesting time to end it. But I haven't decided, so... You know, I'm probably not going to do that. I keep saying that I'm going to do that, or I'm going to end this game soon, but... I'm not doing it, I'm not making any motions to do it. I just want to end this game, like... I want to get through the full time of this game and see what happens at the end. See how I rank up with the world. So we're, we're going to see us through at the end. I mean, there's only like another hundred or so years to go. And if we speed up a bit, you know, that'll be even faster. I'm not saying we're going to just stop doing things, because we're not. We're going to keep playing this to the end. To the moon! We're going to play us to the moon. Uh, but we haven't achieved the moon yet, because it's very difficult to get moon level technology at this, you know, in 1341. But maybe we'll get it this... You know, maybe we'll get it today. Maybe moon level technology is just the next research thing. Uh, no, I'm not seeing any moon tech. There's castle infrastructure that's like the moon. Perhaps. It's really nothing like the moon, is it? Just grasping at straws. King Bard of Norway. Interesting. I thought we owned Norway. Oh, apparently we don't. I thought you were a ki My son, did someone usurp you? I swore you were a king. Oh, it is on. You were usurped last year. Alright then, King Bard, where are you? No, I can't just revoke his title. Darn it! Alright then, we've lost the power of another kingdom. This is what happens when I let my sons take over a kingdom, they just go off and lose them. They're not very smart, my sons. <sighs> Alright then, whatever. No use crying over lost kingdoms. You know, we put it down somewhere and we came back half an hour later and someone had just picked it up and walked off with it. I don't know what happened to that kingdom. Yay, we're capturing things. This is just going to be a really easy claim. I don't even... Are they at war with anyone? No, they're just an independent free state. Genoa is uh, dealing with everyone right now. I believe Genoa will win this independence war. They are winning it quite handily, in fact. But I mean, the advantage with Genoa is because they're a merchant prince, they don't really have a family. So... Jeez, your wife's wig is amusing. No, but since they don't have a family, they don't really... have the same sort of reasons to advance in life, so... I don't know if that's actually a good thing or not, but it's certainly a... Th it is a thing that exists. Um... Research economic tech, I suppose. Why not? And you, like a guardian, okay, we can educate you in the ways of... Stewardship. And in fact, you can learn from me. Because you are my favorite child. Daughter of Caitlin. Who was one of my daughters. Not even one of my favorite daughters, just one of them. I've got a few daughters, and that's what matters. Actually, no, I don't have a few daughters. I've only got one son and one daughter. My son was king, my daughter is... You know, this generation's gone rather well. You know, we've got like ten children from this one generation. So, yeah, good generation, guys. Well done. Good... Ah, oh, balls, I forgot to give... Darn it, I stuffed up. I forgot to give the land to someone. 
Oh, I am now infirm and I'm now incapable. Oh, great. Yeah, Solera is very close to dead. He is now venturing in the worlds of Lordaeran, where all lords go. Um, he believes that, you know, he can do something about Lordaeran, so good luck. Good luck, my friend. <laughs> good night, sweet prince, even though he's actually an emperor. And that war down there was completely pointless because I forgot to give the land over. Ah, I hate it when I do that. I do it so often, too. That's the other annoying thing. Like, I know I could just give the land to them before starting the war, but then what tends to happen is, you know, the war ends inconclusively and they've just given land away for no reason. So I don't particularly want to do that. Oh, King Jeff is kind of liking me now. Oh, and we can usurp Flanders. Excellent. Well, let us usurp Flanders. Oh, Flanders, neighborino. Yoink. And we can give that title to... Eh, we can give it to... Uh, you're already a duke. We don't need you to be a double duke. Surely there's someone in my lands... There you go. Someone who is a kinsman. Who needs to be the Duke of Flan... Oh, there we go. Emperor Solaire the I has retired from this world at age 64. He died comatose in bed. Long live Emperor Magnus, third for the Empire of Britannia. Alright, so, there are a few people who have now got claims to Britannia. Uh, my son, in particular. Oh no, those are pretenders. Well, more people do have claims to Britannia than had them before. And Emperor Magnus I of Ireland is... If not, if Ireland is Britannia. Why do I keep saying Ireland? But anyway, you can be given Flanders like I was giving it to you. I think originally it was because someone else was trying to give you Flanders and that just didn't work that way. I'm not really sure. Uh, and I've got a claim on Norway. Can I actually attack Norway? I can't, because it's actually my land. Alright, well, the first thing we need to check is who doesn't like me. In fact, let's check the kings. Uh, King Jeff doesn't like me, and Bard of Orkney J doesn't like me. In fact, I don't want King Jeff to like me. I mean, I want King Jeff to like me, but I don't particularly want this guy to like me. So it's kind of the opposite of what we've got right now. Uh, and we also need to readjust my people, because these people are not good. They are my own people. They, they were Magnus's people, and Magnus didn't exactly have a lot of land, so he didn't have exactly have a lot of people. Also, he's got his wife as a spy master. Um, well, she's not going to betray you, but she's not going to do a lot of good either. So, now that with that out of the way, religion, all of Britannia is Catholic. Good to see. Very good to see, in fact. Uh, we're going to make sure that we don't get stabbed in the face or in the back. We just don't want to be stabbed. If people stab us, that would make me very upset. Great. Now, we can claim a title, or create a title that's not important. We do have de jure claims, which we can now do because of reasons. And we have an unlanded son, which we will now make him a very landed son by giving him uh, the County of Yiprin. Cool. Enjoy that, my son. Vassals might revolt. He might revolt. Really? I just gave him land and he's immediately going to think about revolting? <sighs> Alright. Whatever. I mean, it's not like I can control you at all. I mean, it's not like I gave you land or anything. What are you not happy about? He's ambitious, right. And I hold too many duchies. I thought I gave duchies away. Or do I still hold too many? I still hold three. Darn. You know what? We're going to give you a duchy as well. Everything must go to you because you are a cool guy. You can have the duchy of Cornwall. He's probably not going to revolt anymore. Prince Sean. Ah, 
What a great name. It's spelt weirdly, but I respect the name Sean. Since, you know, it's mine. Just not spelt that way. Um, Sean is the most annoying name ever. Just going to say this right now. Because it can be spelt in four different ways. In fact, five. Because look, it's got an accent over it. It's S-E accent over the A-N. That is the ponziest way to spell your name ever. I am sure I've just offended someone from Europe there because they've got names got like six accents over it. Um, dude, just calm down with the accents. It's cool. We res- we like you, okay? You don't need to like pretend you're cooler than you are by adding accents over your name. It just makes you seem a little bit... What? Byzantine? Uh, what are you doing? How? What are you doing again? Why? How? Oh, the Byzantine Empire. They're crazy. They just take over land and just, they just feel like it. You know, they're off the hook. You can't control them. They're just like, we're going to do whatever we want and you just try and stop us. And I'll be like, alright, I'll try to stop you. And they'll say, haha, you cannot. And I'll be very confused of why. And then they'll reveal because Prince Solaire of Britannia? What? How can Prince Solaire? He's dead. <gasps> Solaire has become a family name! I didn't know that was possible! That is really cool! So if a name gets used, they can reuse the name? I wonder if there's another poopsicle. That's not the button you find out if there's a poopsicle. Uh, no. Okay. Search all. I'm going to search poop. You know what? This... Sounded a lot smarter in my head before I. Uh, why is that? Oh, there we go. Poop. It's poop. It's not a name. Oh, that guy's name is Popop. Whatever. Uh, do we have any other Solaires? No, just the one. Oh, he is going to be the greatest prince. He's still only twelve. Who's educating him? A bishop. An excellent bishop. He will understand the words of God. And understand that, you know, for reasons we're going to be better than God. Because we have gotten over ambitious and oh dear, it's the Swedes! It's the Swedes! They're ruining my day. Those effing Swedes. <laughs> Why do the Swedes try to ruin my day? Do they not understand how amazing I am? Why is that not part of England? It doesn't appear to be part of England. What? Where is England? Oh, you just belong directly to me, okay. You're part of Scotland of all places. You know what? Scotland has a bit of a navy, I believe. Yes, it does. Good. So we're just going to get some more people to invade Sweden. Because those Swedish are just being pains. Typical Swedes. Just bloody typical Sweden. This is why no one invited you to the, your birth... This is why no one invited you to your own birthday party. Because you're just difficult. That's the saddest thing if you had a birthday party and no one invited you to your own party. Like, I understand, like, if you were having a birthday party and then, you know, you didn't turn up because it was a surprise party and, you know, obviously they didn't tell you about it because it was a surprise party. But, you know, they tell you, hey, we're having a birthday party for you. Oh, great! Yeah, no, you're not coming, though. Why not? Because no one really likes you. So why are you having a party for me? Just really, just to rub it in your face. Sounds like I've got trauma. And like It sounds like as if that's something that's happened to me before. Uh, it's only happened once, so, you know, it wasn't too bad. No, I joke, that's never happened to me. Oh, I would have the saddest life if that had happened to me. Apologies if you, uh, this has happened to you. Because that is really sad. I'll host your party someday. Uh, <laughs> and then I won't invite you. I'll just host it and be like, Oh man, I'm so sorry that they hosted a party and didn't even invite you. And you're like, that's cool, man. It's like, hey, look, I'll host a party for you. You're like, you'd do that for me? Yeah, man. Just totally. I totally... Uh, by the way, you're not coming. And it would just be that silence. I say like, but why? Because like, I'm an asshole sometimes. And so are you. You should probably get that checked out by a doctor or something. Get a major ca- case of the assholes. 
the case of the assholes actually sounds like a problem you could have. Uh, Norland. They control Norland? I don't even know what Norland is. But apparently they control it. And that's causing them to win this war. That's not Norland. What's Norland? Oh, it's this duchy that I'm totally not fighting for. I should probably get onto that. Uh, well, you know what we're going to do before we go for that? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, Causus Belly ended because... Did you die? Did he die of depression? I don't know, but either way... My Causus Belly is no longer valid. Disappointing. Well, we're definitely not going to host a victory party now. We weren't planning to, but now we can't. Bastards. How's Genoa's civil war going? Okay, they've won it, obviously. Castile. How was your. Yeah, you are. You're a petty king as well. You know what? I wonder if we can marry you to. We can marry you to Prince. Oh, Prince Solaire. That'd be amazing. Let's do that. And then what we'll do is we'll start assassinating people. Yes, that's the way to do it. So, we've married you to his daughter. Okay. So, what we're going to do now... This is always the best plan. Now we will go plot. There's a few people who are interested in this one. Okay. <laughs> this is how we're going to get Castile. Salia's going to get it. We're going to have to give Salia land at some point as well. Okay, so plot power is raising. We're going to have to give some money away at some point as well, but that's alright. We can we can give money away. Let's see how high plot power goes before we start needing to give money away. You are the... I don't even know what that place is. Oh, it's your wife who has the land. Oh, she owns that? Wow. That's far better than what I thought I was going for. Yes! Let us kill you and your wife. Actually, how old is... King Reginald the Great of Castile is... It's more his wife that I'm concerned about, and she's 46, so... That's okay. Yes, we haven't killed anyone in a while. Oh! Wait. Why, my son? Why would you declare war on me? Are you a moron? Uh, yeah, I guess you are. Okay, so... Duke Sean declared war on me. He is not a smart man. But he will be a man living in a very enclosed space very soon. I gave him a duchy and everything, and this is how he repays me. This must be what like having children is like. You know? I'll, I'll help you out, my son. Here, you can have a duchy. Oh, thank you, father. Now, excuse me while I try and kill you and steal all of your land. It's exactly what having children is like. I, I know it. That's why I'll never have them. Ungrateful children always stealing my land. Not that he's going to even succeed. He's too small and adorable. Yeah, immediately he loses. I mean, what did we expect, though, honestly? Uh, we're at 89%. We need another 10% somehow. We can get 3. We can get another 3%. Darn it. Okay, no, it's fine. That's fine. We've got a plan. What we're going to do is we're going to go get this guy. Where is he? Actually, we get you. And you've got no land itself. You. Where do you live? You live here? What? That can't be right. Oh, you're leading troops. I see. Okay, you're here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to send my uh, Chancellor over to here to try and get you to join my cause. And then when you join my cause, then you'll you know, 
kill your queen. And then we will rule over your lands. So this is what you do in this this is what you should do in this game when you're not sure of who to attack. You just start being a dick. And start just conquering whoever you feel like. So oh, I don't actually have enough men to take over Cornwall. Interesting. Ah, uh, that'll be enough. And that is easily enough. Okay, cool. Not even concerned that my uh, son did that. He does have a daughter. But... Just, what a dick. What a dick. But, I mean, his ambition will get him thrown into the dungeon forever, so... Whatever. You know, that's what happens when... You know, my namesake does this sort of thing. Um, uh, oh, we can cut off someone's hands? I haven't cut off someone's hands in a while. Let's cut off someone's hands. Take that, thief. Your hands are now no longer your hands. There. And Marcus is like, yeah, yeah, you cut off his hands. I don't like you, king, emperor, but I like you because you did that. It's the only reason I like you. Cut off his hands. He's like, dude, chill the fuck out. He's like, no, no, you're gonna cut off his hands. Cut off my hands. And then it's just like this long moment where we just stare at each other. It's like, do you want me to cut off your hands? He's like, a little bit, yeah. Could you? I'm like, yeah, sure. I mean, the knife's out already. I mean, <laughs> here's the knife. It's out already. I might as well use it again. He's like, thanks. You're the best king ever. It's like, I know. I'm not even a king, I'm an emperor. Uh. The Pope is not happy that I have done my shit. That I've got uh, free investiture. And I'm going to rule my realm. Thank you very much, Pope. But you have no say in my lands. This is how we get into wars with the Pope. This is how we get crusaded. Or excommunicated. Or other bad things that we really don't want to happen to me. But not yet. Oh no. Magnus is maimed somehow. I don't know how this happened, but he is maimed. I guess that's why he was cutting off hands. <gasps> Ooh. Well, this guy is now excommunicated. Whatever, I'm not particularly fussed, actually. I was going to be fussed, but then I thought, nah. Why be fussed when I cannot be fussed? You know, I've got two choices in life. Fuss, not fuss. I choose not fuss. So how are we going with our intrigue? 88% complete? Oh, yes, good. With that guy we'll have... We'll have short just a tiny, tiny bit. It's alright, we can... Oh, but then we can... No, there's no one else! Damn it! Come on, at least take us to 100. How's that taking us to 100? 105%, excellent. That's actually enough. Oh, it's a bit close, but we got there. That's all that matters in the end. And research tech. Meanwhile, we're at war with these guys? Why are we at war with those guys? Because Tara had an alliance with them? Alright, well, that's fine. The rest of Ireland can uh, deal with Tara. We usually do. Oh, Tara. I don't even remember what you're actually meant to be called. Uh, Dublin? No. It's got another name. I don't remember what it is, though. Oh, wait. I can find out if I scroll down. No, it's been Tara for as long as I can remember. I don't even remember what it used to be called. No one remembers what Tara was called back in the day. Everyone can agree, though, it was a fine place. A fine place for murder. A fine place for heathens who do not deserve to be in our kingdom. But it is okay. Because I have decided it to be okay. Because as an emperor, I am the one who decides. Unless I let someone else decide for the day. But then, 
I decide who chooses for the day. <laughs> and that is all that really matters. I don't even know what I'm doing now. I'm just rambling. Wow, way to ramble, Thief. You know what? I've gone. I've got a touch of the madness. I might end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to see if we can... Ki no, damn it. Kill his wife. Uh, kill him. I don't know. People must die. Darn it. Why are people not dying? I, I demand them to die, and yet they do not die. I'll find someone else. If you won't kill him, I'll find someone who will. Or maybe I won't. Anyway, guys. I have been C for Cat with a touch of madness. And I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye. Meow. <laughs>